Hey, what's going on guys? My name is James. Today we're going to be talking about another Moog patch. So in this video, we're going to be making kind of a phasing PWM sound. Um, I've made a few other videos talking about pulse width modulation before, but this one is a little bit different as it's kind of, it sounds like there's a lot more going on with the synth than uh, you kind of actually imagine could be possible with a single voice synthesizer. So we're going to use the LFO and the um, regular VCO to essentially create a sounds that almost kind of phase in and out of one another and overall lead to a really interesting sounding sound. So without further ado, uh, let's get into this. All right, so first things first, let's kind of get the VCO set up. So I'm going to switch the VCO wave to square and then I'm going to set the pulse width to a little over 60-ish percent. So if you listen to that here, uh, this is just the filters open all the way. So we're going to get the pure wave. So let's see, let me turn on the VCO here. Okay, so you can hear that that's just a regular pulse width wave. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start to um, add a, a second wave to that. And that's going to be done using the patch base. So we're going to grab our first patch cable. We're going to patch our VCO saw to the uh, external audio. So that's going to use the other um, voltage controlled oscillator as a source. So now if we uh, mix between these two, we are not mixing between the pulse width and noise like we usually are. Now it's the pulse wave and the saw wave that we're mixing between. So if we put that about halfway and we listen to that here, you can hear that it's a mix of both of those waves. It's a mix of a pulse and a saw wave. So the next thing that we're going to do now is um, use our keyboard, uh, or should I say the LFO, to modulate the mix of that. So if we go from the LFO triangle, we're gonna patch that up to the mix control voltage here. So now if we listen to that, let me actually get this uh, sequencer started. So I'm just gonna do a uh, quarter note right now. So let's see if we slow down the tempo. It's a quarter note, but we can speed it up here. Let's see, we'll speed it up to, uh, I'll say a little bit past that 60% uh, mark there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of swing. So to add some swing, we just press shift, and then we're gonna turn this tempo. We're gonna turn it to right about there. So it'll give it a little bit of a um, accented swing in a sense. So we can hear that the mix is kind of phasing between both the pulse and the saw wave now, which already sounds kind of interesting. But what we're gonna do now is kind of use the LFO almost as an oscillator. So we're gonna actually bring it up to almost audible range here. So you can hear it almost sounds like there's another oscillator going on uh, in the synthesizer, even though it's just the LFO. But you might notice, let's see if we tune that a little bit better here. There we go. But you might notice if you go to play a second note, it doesn't sound right because the LFO is not being um, affected by the current note that's being played. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our keyboard out and we're just gonna patch that to our LFO rate. So now if we press another note, the LFO rate changes to uh, match that current note. Now that's going to be limited. It's not going to be as accurate. So if you go up an octave and try to play, it's not gonna sound as good. It really only stays within one octave of where you kind of set this, um, just because the LFO isn't as exact as a VCO. But you can always, you know, if you know what kind of, like what octave you're going to be staying in, you can just tune it differently depending on what notes you're playing. playing. So if you're up an octave, then you can tune it a little bit differently. But now we're gonna add that little bit of um, interesting phasing sound. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the attack up we're gonna bring down our cutoff. We're gonna keep the resonance right about there. That's about, I don't know, 35, 40%. We'll go back down an octave here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Actually, turn up some of this VCO bottom out here. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So you can kind of hear it has that character of having more than one oscillator because we technically are using the LFO as another oscillator. So it's kind of making all these conflicting sounds that some of them cancel out, some of them amplify, and you know, some of them kind of stack on top of one another, and it really creates this um, detuned and intense sound coming out of the synth, and if we you know, play around the cutoff, you know, it kind of lets some of those higher frequencies and more detuned sounds come through, and it really just makes a pretty cool sound coming out of this uh, small machine here, so and there's a lot of capability that's possible with this. So, um, you know, you can kind of play around with that attack and decay to get more interesting sounds. Let's see, let's turn the VCA motor on. So yeah, that's kind of been another patch with the Mother 32. Uh, check out some of the other videos I've made. I've definitely created some interesting sounds over the past you know, few months that I've been making these. So uh, check those out. I'll leave you a, a little card at the end up in the top right corner. Uh, check those out and also subscribe if you like these. I make these every once in a while when I come up with a cool sound. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.